فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يد السبيل واشهد ان سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى اله واصحابه والتابعين لهم باحسان الى يوم الدين اما بعد ان شاء الله تعالى this is going to be the first class or the first lesson ان شاء الله تعالى because in our last session we spoke about the the chapters which aqida deals with but today ان شاء الله تعالى we're going to go into the first chapter and that is الإيمان بالله to believe in Allah سبحانه وتعالى الإيمان بالله الإيمان means to believe in Allah تبارك وتعالى now one may ask what does it mean to believe in Allah سبحانه وتعالى what it means to believe in Allah سبحانه وتعالى is as follows يقوم على توحيد الله في Believing Allah, it stands with you singling, it stands on you singling Allah in. Believing in Allah stands in singling Allah in the three following that are here. The first one is in his rububiyyah. You single Allah wa ta'ala in his rububiyyah. Now what does rububiyyah mean? Rububiyyah means you single Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala ifradullahi ta'ala fi af'alihi It means to single Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his actions. The actions which Allah does. You say these actions are only for Allah such as al-khalqu creating والرزق providing and giving رزق أما والرزق also والإحياء والممات taking a person's life giving a person a life these are actions which Allah does and we single him in these actions we do not associate partners with Allah in it إفراد الله to single Allah في أفعاله in Allah's actions that is what rububiyah means that you believe those actions which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does, no one shares it with him. He's alone on it. The second one is Asma'uhu wa sifatu. It means to single Allah in his names. And in his attributes. You single Allah tabarak wa ta'ala in his names. And you single Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his attributes. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, he has names. 99 names that we know. And yes, they are more than that. But those which we know are these 99. These 99 names of Allah which we know, which are known as Asma'ullah al-Husna Allah tabarak wa ta'ala's righteous names Every name of Allah Every asma Every name of Allah It has a characteristics in it Every name Has a characteristics But not every characteristics is a name Let me repeat that one more time Every name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is a characteristics that is in it. But not every characteristics is there a name in it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we'll expand on that in our um, books that we're going to be studying inshallah ta'ala after the introduction. So what does it mean to single Allah in his names and attributes? For example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a samir he is as samir that is his name. That's why you find a person is called Abdul Samir. 
Samir is Allah's name. As Samad is the name of Allah. Ar Rahman is the name of Allah. These names, we do not give it to anybody other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then he's the only one who is As Samir. He's the only one who is As Samad. He's the only one who is Ar Rahman. He's the only one who is Allah. These are names we don't give it to anyone. We single him in these names. We also, these characteristics that we have, these characteristics of Allah, which is Allah hears, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he sees, these are characteristics that we don't give to anyone. In the way that Allah hears. For instance, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is hearing, he's alone on it. Why? Because he heard, his hearing was always there. Whereas the hearing of the creation came to a starting point. Even the human's hearing is not, it is not wild, wide. It can't hear every single thing. It's limited. Whereas Allah's hearing is not limited. The human's hearing, it comes to an end. Allah's one doesn't come to an end. The hearing of the creation was given to him. Allah, it wasn't given to him. So we single him in that. His names and his attributes. And the third thing in which believing in Allah stands on is uluhiyatuh. Uluhiyatuh. You single Allah in the actions you do. The actions you do and the things that you're coming with you single him, in, single him in it. For instance, you do not pray, nor do you, nor do you slaughter, nor do you prostrate, nor do you supplicate to anyone other than Allah. These are actions you do. As salah, as siyam, al nadar, al istighatha, al isti'ana. These are characteristic actions which you do: seeking help, seeking aid slaughtering, uh, supplicating, praying, fasting. These actions, you do them only for Allah. So look at this, my brothers and sisters who are watching. Rububiyah, Rububiyah means what? You single Allah in the actions Allah does. Uluhiyah means what? Uluhiyah means you single Allah in the actions you do. And the actions you come with. Now, our messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he was sent out to mankind, not only him, but the prophets that came before him, the battle and the point of argument was on what? Was it on rububiyyah? Was it on Asma wa Sifat or was it on Uluhiyyah? It was on Al Uluhiyyah. They did not want to, they did not want to affirm, they did not want to worship Allah alone in their actions. They did not want to. They knew He was the only creator, they knew that He was the only sustainer, they believed in that. The actions Allah did, they uniquely believed it was for him. They knew Allah had names and attributes. They knew that. That's why you find in the pre-Islamic time, some people were called Abdullah, like the Prophet's father. You see, they also had other names of Allah that was used. They had those names. But what the fight and the argument was about was uluhiyah. Worship Allah alone in your actions. Don't associate partners with Him. Everything that is ibadah, you do it only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's when they said no. And that's why every messenger was sent down. As Allah said in the Quran, وَلَقَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةِ الرَّسُولَ أَنْ اعْبُدُوا اللَّهَ وَاجْتَلِبُوا الطَّاغُوتِ Allah says, we have sent down all the messengers and all the prophets. On what purpose? Worship Allah alone and don't associate partners with Him. 
Worship Allah alone and do not associate partners with him. Every action you are doing, do it for him alone and don't associate partners with him. So when a person comes and says, I believe in Allah, I believe in Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, it means, it entails that they single Allah tabarak wa ta'ala in his rububiyyah. It means that they single Allah tabarak wa ta'ala in his asma'i wa sifat. So rububiyyah means his lordship. They also single him in his names and attributes. And they also single him in their worship. When a person comes with these three, and each and every one of them require what? It requires Tawheed. Tawheed al rububiyyah Tawheed al asma'i wa sifat and Tawheed al uruhiyah Meaning, you single Allah in the rububiyyah you single Allah in His names and attributes, and you single Allah in, his ulu, in the uruhiyah that you come, the actions that you come with. When those three are present in you, my brothers and sisters, you have now come with what is known as Al-Imanu Billah. You have come with believing in Allah. Correctly, the way it was needed. Now the question that arises is, if I come with these three, I single Allah in his rububiyyah, his asma'i wa sifat, and his uluhiyah, what do I get from it? What is promised for me? What have I been assured? And this is what I move on to on the second point that I'm going to speak about in today's class, inshaAllah ta'ala. That is, thamaratul imani billah. What are the fruits that a person or the benefits that a person gains in believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What are the thamaratul imanu billah? The thamarat, the fruits, the outcome of believing in Allah. If I believe in Allah, what are the outcomes in which I will? I will receive. The thamara is, the first one is sa'ada. You're going to receive happiness. The first one is as-sa'ada, happiness. Believing in Allah brings you happiness. The evidence for happiness is Surah An-Nahl, Ayah 97. Surah An-Nahl, Ayah 97. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala He says, "Man amila salihan min dhakarin aw unta wa huwa mu'min, fala nuhiyannahu hayatan tayyiba." وَلَنَجْزِيَنَّهُمْ أَجْرَهُمْ بِأَحْسَنِ مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ In that verse Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says Anyone who comes with righteous actions whether it's a male or a female مَنْ عَمِلَ صَالِحًا مِنْ ذَكَرٍ أَوْ أُنْثَى Male or female Allah says فَلَنُحْيَنَّهُ حَيَاتًا طَيِّبًا We will give you a good life وَلَنَجْزِيَنَّهُمْ أَجْرَهُمْ بِأَحْسَنِ مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ and Allah will reward you for all the good which you've come with. So that is happiness that you will attain by coming with al imanu Billah. But in what way? The way we've explained. The second benefit or outcome that you will receive in believing in Allah is Wilayatullah. Allah is allegiance. You will find allegiance, you will find aid and support from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah said in the Quran, in Surah Ali Imran, Ayah 68, Allah says, Allahu waliyul muttaqin. Wallahu waliyul mu'mineen. Allah, this ayah specifically is, Wallahu waliyul mu'mineen. Allah is the ally of the believers. The believers here is the ones who believe in and single Allah in his rububiyyah. His names and attributes, and also in his uluhiya. The third one is Al Jannah. The people who come with um, Al Imanu Billah, believe in Allah wa Taala, they receive Jannah. As Allah Subhanahu wa Taala He mentions in Surah An Nisa, Ayah fifty, Ayah fifty-seven. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala He says. وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ Those who believed in Allah and have come with righteous actions. 
وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ Those who have believed in Allah and they have come with righteous actions, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, سَنُدْخِلُهُمْ جَنَّاتِ will enter them into Jannah. تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارُ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا أَبَدًا وَأَزْوَاجٌ مُطَهَّرًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, those who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they come with righteous actions, we will enter them into Jannah and they will stay there forever. The garden of Jannah, water runs beneath it. They will stay there forever. And Allah then says they will have their partners. They will have partners of theirs with them who are purified, who are cleansed. So Al Jannah. The fourth one is at Tamkeen. Allah wa Ta'ala will give you tamkeen. He will give you strength and he will give you power on this earth. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he said in Surah An Nur, Ayah 55, Wa'ad Allahu Ladina Amanu Minkum Wa'amilu Salihati La Yastakhlifa Nahum Fil Ardi Kamastakhlafa Ladina Min Kablihim Wala Yu Makkinan Nalahum Dina Humul Ladir Tabalahum وَلَا يُبَدِّلَنَّهُمْ مِنْ بَعْدِ خَوْفِهِمْ أَمْنَا يَعْبُدُونَنِي لَا يُشْرِكُونَ بِي شَيْئًا Allah makes a promise. He says, I made an oath. And in that oath, Allah mentions those who believe in Allah and they come with the tawheed that is needed from them. Allah says that He will give them tamkeen on this earth. He will give them strength and power on this earth. Surah An-Nur, Ayah 55. Last but not least, it is Surah Al-An'am, Ayah, Ayah 70, Ayah 82. Ayah 82. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He promises the ones who come with Iman and righteous actions, the Iman here being what? Believing in Allah with His Rububiyyah, with His Asma, and His Wasifatuh, and His Uluhiyah. What are they? Or what is it that they're going to receive, which is the last one? Al-Amn wal Safety, and Allah will give them guidance. And that is in Surah Al-An'am, Ayah 82, Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, He says, الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَلَمْ يَلْبِسُوا إِيمَانَهُمْ بِظُلْمٍ أُولَٰئِكَ لَهُمُ الْأَمْنُ وَهُمْ مُهْتَدُونَ Allah says, Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, and those who believe, who then do not come with shirk, they do not associate partners with Allah in His Rububiyya. They do not associate partners with Allah in His names and attributes. They do not associate partners with Allah wa ta'ala in, in His Uluhiyya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, those people who have come with that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, Those are the ones who are going to receive safety, and verily they are the ones who are, and they are the ones who are going to be guided. Al-Amnu wal ihtida Safety on this earth and also guidance. So today lesson, today's lesson, inshaAllah ta'ala, brothers, it was about Al-Imanu Billahi, believing in Allah, what it means. And we also took Thamaratu, the fruits, Al-Imanu Billahi, believing in Allah. Thamaratu Al-Imanu Billah, the fruits and that which you gain after believing in Allah. And what does it mean to believe in Allah? We gave evidence and we gave you also the references. Jazakumullahu khayran. Wa barakallahu feekum. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.